because I, I don't know his military cap is even there he'll be buried with it <laughs> but he can't wear it again now the last fortune of any man no matter how great he, he may be is the coffin I hope something listen to me the last property a man will have is the coffin Nigeria today is going through crisis because people believe that leadership is for self not for service what a change and what distinguished David out as a man of God and I said I was going to use another man the great Emperor Alexander the Great was equally a military man like David. He fought wars, he won wars, he subdued nations all around him. And for years, nations will bring tributes to him. Tributes. That was why they called him Emperor Alexander the Great. He was, he was great feared by everybody around me but my message is this that military man in the height of his prosperity and power was sick and he was about to die because all shall die if Jesus delays his coming everybody here will die There is no prevention against that. Death is a necessary end that will come when it will come. And so when this great emperor, mighty man, feared by everybody, was to die, he called his military leaders and told them, I am about to die. But may I request three things of you. And I'm saying that I'm using this as illustration for all of us, please. Because it makes sense to everybody. Nigeria is in trouble because our leaders are self-serving. This man said, I make request of three things from you. Number one, when I die, and my body is being, my casket is being taken through the town to the graveyard. Let the best of doctors in the world carry my body. The military officer said, Ah, oh God, how can you are a military man? Only soldiers can carry your body, not, not, not bloody civilian. He said, I want doctors to carry my body. So that they will know that in the height of their knowledge, they have no power over life and death. Only God has it. And I'm sure we all know that. So even when you, when you steal $98 billion that you steal, it won't deliver you from death. Go to the best hospital in the world. Die, you must die. That's the first message. Secondly, he told them, I should carry my body along the line. All the wealth I have made. And in those days, the tributes were, were paid in gems, in, in expensive stones. So all the gems I have made, as my body is going, throw them. Throw them all over the place. Ah, ah. It's, oh, that, this is money. Is that which money? I mix them. But will I spend them where I'm going? So we have brought nothing to this world. And it is certain that we shall take nothing out of it. Throw them all over the place. Good riddance to bad rubbish. 
So when you make this your aim to steal public funds, you are wasting your time. The public funds you are, you are stealing will not deliver you. In any case, it will send you to hell. Number two lesson. Number three lesson. He said it is a tradition that when you put the body in the casket, you knock it off. You close it. He said, don't close my own. Please don't close my casket. Then allow my two hands, one on the right, right side, one on the left, to dangle as they take my body, to dangle. So everybody will know that I have nothing in my hand. Nothing. 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 If every man, every woman would think like Alexander the Great, Nigeria would be better. People are jobless, people are suffering, people are dying, leadership in many places, uncaring, unbothered. It is given unto every man how many times to die? Once. And after that, judgment. We want to thank God for the life of General Adebayo. He has laid an example in many ways to us as the people. And it's our hope that everybody here will learn to know that wherever you are in life, do the best you can do for the community you are in. For David, after serving his father in his own generation, died and was buried with his fathers. Shall we all stand to pray? I do hope this message has not gone empty-handed. I hope you have listened to it. Excuse me. Can someone here tell me who is next to that?